Today I want to talk about ground moves again. As a reminder, these are the combinations of fins and tricks that can be used in Pana and straight football to fool the opponent, make him move, and open up. The more beautiful and confident you perform such combinations, the more chances you will have to beat your opponent and impress the audience with your beautiful game. Which is very important. And of course, as always, our regular guest will serve as a demonstration of learning from the scratch. Hello, Danny. It's already dark outside, and I got him out of the house to make useful content for you. So don't forget to like, friends, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. We are ready to start. Let's go. So guys, I want to start by saying that I have already analyzed in one of my previous videos the most important and fundamental elements in ground moves you should know. These were Sean Garnier's variation of the V move fint. And today, friends, I'm gonna show you three more simple elements that can be merged into one combination. Also, I'm to show you how they can be combined with the tricks that we have already learned. In short, here it's not so important to be able to do the tricks themselves, but to be able to combine them beautifully. I hope you get the point, so click on the card up there, watch the right episode, replenish your arsenal with the necessary tricks, and get back here. So we have the ball, we have a test subject, let's start with the first trick this. What is important to do here? First of all, with a weak foot, bring the ball out parallel to yourself. Then, we want to stop the ball with the outside of the foot. After that, the third step, we must bring the ball in front of you, turn around and fix the ball in its initial position. And here, be sure to grab the ball with a so. Get it? Try it. Awesome, good! It's very important here to always press the ball into the ground. First of all, that will allow you to control the ball. And second of all, if the opponent tries to knock it out, he will not succeed, because you will press it tightly. And as usual, friends, to be sure that you have mastered the trick, you must be able to do it 10 times out of 10. So, as an exercise, just do the same thing 10 times in a row. Second element can be called the clamp behind the supporting foot. Well, not the best naming, but that's just for you to understand. In general, what we want to do, bring the ball back and just like in the first move, firmly press it to the ground. May slip out, so bring it to stability because this move will also come in handy for us in Pawn Fins, which we'll be learning. Try it out. Yeah, okay, it was good. Let's move on to the third element. So, what's important here? Firstly, with a so, pull the ball back. And secondly, press it very tightly with the outside of the foot, behind your back. That is also quite an essential skill, that will help you in a lot of other fins and tricks. And also, we bring it to stability. It would be perfect to do it in motion and with a turn. That was cool! Well, that's pretty much it! Nothing complicated at all, but it would be a little more difficult to do all this within one combination. I'm not the one who made it up though, but anyway it looks very beautiful. And here it is. As you noticed, I just looked this combination and made it three times. And what I love about it is that by doing it continuously, you create a constant rotation around your axis. So it works out very nice, I think. Danny, it's your turn. Yeah, 
little suffice. There was some inaccuracy when it touched the ball with the outside of the foot. I guess I would give a C for that. To get an A, of course, you need practice. A lot of practice. Actually, he found out about his combo today, just like you guys. Well, we trained it a bit literally before shooting, but it took no more than half an hour, right? And now, let's remember the trick that we already know. Classic, basic, the V move. And it seems to me that if you add it, it will turn out even more diverse, even more beautiful, and each of you is able to do it. If you have mastered previous combinations, try combining different tricks. That's what makes street football street fun and beautiful, because you can constantly come up with something of your own. Okay, you almost nailed it. Let's say it was improvisation, but in general you get the main point, didn't you? Danny, did you understand? The most important here is to be able to combine tricks beautifully, and to constantly control the ball. And to achieve this, you must do exercises, do them as much as possible. That is it. And as always guys, let me know in the comments your thoughts, what you did or didn't like, ring the bell, and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss the most awesome videos about football tricks. See you soon!